Friday's school shooting just outside Denver. We're learning more about the teen who was gravely wounded in that attack, Claire Davis, in critical condition this morning. And ABC's Clayton Sandell is in Littleton, Colorado with the latest. Good morning, Clayton. Good morning, George. This morning, Claire Davis is in the hospital behind me fighting for her life. And for the first time, we're now hearing from the girl who went to the prom with the gunman. Overnight, Claire Davis's family says she is in critical condition, stable, but in a coma. Davis in the wrong place at the wrong time Friday when fellow senior Carl Pearson walks into Arapahoe High School opening fire, shot in the face at close range. I have a student down in the athletic hall. She's bleeding bad. Her family praising police and paramedics, doctors and nurses, adding, we appreciate your continued good thoughts and prayers. She was an innocent victim of an evil act of violence. Pearson killed himself as officers closed in. His motive, police say, may have been revenge after an ongoing feud with his debate team coach, librarian Tracy Murphy. Murphy disciplined the 18-year-old in September. Pearson's friend and prom date, Bailey Callahan, says he was smart, outspoken. He personally did not like the American government whatsoever. But she never thought he was capable of this. He's not a monster. He's... He's one of the best people I, had, I knew. <laughs> he's not this, this killer. He's, he's Carl Pearson. He's one of the best people I know. And this morning, the principal says that Arapaho High will stay closed this week through the holiday break and won't reopen until January. Robin, George. So hard. Mm -hmm. Very difficult. Thank you, Clayton.